When you have placed your order and received the email from Hearn Software, you will be directed to a page like this where you can watch installation video instructions and select the product you need to download. There are options for Mac and Windows. This video is for Windows users, but you may not know if your computer is 32-bit or 64-bit Windows. If you're unsure, the best thing to do is to click here and go to the Microsoft website to check. Scroll down to the automated version detection results and you can see it tells me I'm using a 64-bit operating system. So I need to download the 64-bit version of SPSS. I click here. It takes me to the Hearn website to complete the details and download the demo. Don't worry that it is a demo download. As long as you have your authorization code, you will be able to use the full version that you've paid for. Once you've completed the details, you'll need to agree to the terms and conditions and press submit to commence the download. Different internet browsers handle file downloads slightly differently. Right now I'm using Mozilla Firefox and when the download commences it asks me if I want to open or save the file. I click save and the download starts in the download section of the browser here. I can go back to the download section at any time by clicking up here. If you use Internet Explorer as your internet browser, you might also receive a prompt to open or save the file. Choose Save and the file starts downloading. There is a progress bar at the bottom of the screen. Or alternatively, you can click on the cog menu at the top right and choose View Downloads at any time. If you use Google Chrome as your internet browser, the download may start automatically with a progress bar at the bottom of the screen. Again, you can open the downloads at any time by choosing the menu, which is three horizontal lines in the top right, and choosing downloads. Depending on your internet speed, the installer may take some time to download. However, usually it takes less than 15 minutes on a good connection. Once the download is complete, you'll need to go to the downloads folder. If you used Firefox, you go to the Downloads area, locate the item, right-click on it, and choose Open Containing Folder. This will take you to the Downloads folder on your computer. If you used Internet Explorer, you go to the Downloads area, locate the item, and click the link under Location. If you used Chrome, you go to the Downloads area, and click Open Downloads Folder. Once you get to the Downloads folder, locate the zip file you just downloaded, SPSS Statistics 22. Please note that zip files can be opened by Windows without any special software required. However, if you have particular software installed, you may be prompted to use this. Right-click on the file and choose Extract All, and Windows will unzip the contents of the folder. Within the folder, you'll notice there is one file, an application called SPSS Statistics 22. Right click on it and choose Run as Administrator. Windows may prompt you to allow the program to make changes. If this happens, you should choose Allow. Then Windows will start the installer. Once the SPSS wizard starts, just follow the steps as follows. Click Next. Select Authorised User Licence and click Next. Accept the licence terms and click Next. Click Next. Select any additional help languages you require. Note that English is always installed and does not need to be selected. Then click Next. The next screen will ask about JAWS. This is screen reading software for visually impaired users. The default option is No. Select Yes only if you use JAWS software. Otherwise, just click Next. Leave the selection as Yes for Essentials for Python, just in case you need this in the future. Then press Next. Accept the Python license terms and click Next. Accept the IBM program license agreement and click Next. Accept the default location where SPSS is to be installed and then press Next. Then press Install. Once installed, click OK to start the license authorization process. To complete the license authorization wizard, you'll need the code from the email we sent earlier. Choose license my product now and then choose next. 
Enter the code from the email. And then press next. When you get the authorization succeeded message, press next and then finish. The license will be active the next time you start SPSS. To locate the SPSS program or the license authorization wizard once you've installed the program, on Windows 8 you'll need to go to the Applications folder. Hover your mouse in the bottom left hand corner until the Start menu appears. Click it and then choose the down arrow to go to the Apps folder. If you scroll across to the right, your installed software is located here and SPSS is under I for IBM SPSS Statistics. You can choose either the License Authorization wizard or the SPSS Statistics 23 program. If you need to start the License Authorization wizard, you should right click it and choose Run as Administrator. If you need to start SPSS, you can just double click it. To locate the SPSS program on Windows 7, just go to the Start menu, choose All Programs, and then IBM SPSS Statistics. In there, you'll see the Statistics 23 application and also the License Authorization Wizard. If you need to start the License Authorization Wizard, right-click it and choose Run as Administrator. If you need to start SPSS, just click it. When you start SPSS, you'll see the welcome screen come up. You don't need to see this every time you start the program, and if you don't want to see it again, just click here and press OK. However, you can use this to open a new data file or have a look at some of the tutorials. You'll see at the bottom of the screen here, it says IBM SPSS Statistics Processor is ready. That means the product is licensed and ready to go. If there's a problem with the license, that would say unavailable, and that means we need to go back and run the license authorization wizard.